Noosa residents will finally be given a say on whether they want to de-amalgamate from the Sunshine Coast Regional Council. A new Boundaries Commissioner has been appointed and the petitioning begins now. Noosa fought and lost the battle against forced amalgamation. Spoken to Peter this morning, Peter Beattie this morning. <laughs> now a new state government will give residents a say. They were bullied, they were battered, they were bruised, and as a result, in many cases, those embers still burn. So we're here to try and right a wrong. Former Mackay Mayor Cole Meng has been appointed Queensland's new Boundaries Commissioner. We need to look at the community, make sure the community gets what they're looking for. If Noosa residents want to proceed, 20% of the population needs to sign a petition, accepting responsibility for any de-amalgamation costs. Former Noosa Mayor Noel Playford is with the Noosa Independence Alliance. We'll do it. We'll get the 20%, no problem, but uh, there'll be a lot of people will have to do a lot of work to get it. Well, I'm certainly for the de-amalgamation. De it's what Noosa wants. I'd, I'd say most would be for it, going back to the way we were. Things are just not happening as good as they used to. Residents have two months to submit a successful petition. Then three months will be spent assessing the costs before there's a shire-wide vote. Queensland Treasury Corporation will make sure that every cost uh, is put in place clearly so those communities know what they're getting into. I'm quite happy with the way it is at the moment, so I think um, I don't really want to de amalgamate. I want to look at all the facts before I decide. Yamundi and Karoi won't be considered. It's restricted to boundaries of the old Noosa Shire. We are not going to start the process of toing and froing and pulling communities from here, there and everywhere to form new super shires. Now Noosa residents have choice and a voice. We want to determine our own local future and we can't do it as uh, part of a, an enormous uh, local government. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News.